Well, this is not what I expected. I got out in the garage today, We're ready to start rebuilding the pump. It is the 13th out of all places. And I don't know why I didn't notice this before, but... You can see right there the bottom of the pump housing is cracked. Which is not a good sign at all, but remember when I had bought the aluminum radiator for the Jeep and it leaked. And then I bought that shit to try to fix it, but I didn't get it to work because the aluminum is so thin it just melted. I'm going to try it again on this. This is the Super Alloy 350 Low Temperature Solder Pot Metal Brass Steel Aluminum Copper Zinc. So what I'm going to do is we're going to clean this up and see if we can weld it. You can see right there that now that we've exposed it is actually quite big. Kind of wish I had a smaller brush for this. That was fucking shit, didn't even stick. We'll try the Super Alloy 5, see if that makes a difference. Well, according to the laptop, I can get some JB Marine Weld. It's in stock. Aisle 18. That might be our best option for this pump housing. I've already used an aluminum die grinder bit. Kind of cut a groove in there. Also going to put some on the inside as well. But before we run and do that, I found the old headlights for my truck. So now I'm going to convert that back to stock because I don't have projectors in my truck and HIDs are kind of douchebaggish without having projector lenses. You're just blinding people. So I'm going to return them back to stock and people won't get fucking mad and say that asshole's got fuck off bright lights. So do that. Then we'll go run the Canadian Tire get that JB Weld. We'll drive the Jeep down to the store. Low vacuum. Well, you get some JB Weld, the Marine Weld, and I also got some brushes, but what I did is I cut the bristles off shorter to uh, hopefully help out with that. But let's find out how to mix this, mix it up, and see what's going to happen. Well, it's kind of a bush leak fix, but it's going to have to do. If a person had an aluminum AC welder, you'd be able to weld that up, but unfortunately I don't. So the JB weld will have to do. But next time I come out to the garage, it should be cured, and I'll try to pick at it to see if it's gonna lift up, see if it's stuck, because I sanded it down with rough sanding paper, because you're supposed to have a rough surface for it to sit better, but we'll see. So. Matt's coming over to pick up that motor and I might try to convince him to go for some beer and wings. But we'll see. I'm going to get the fuck out of here for now. I'm going to see you guys next time I'm in the shop. Well, it's a beautiful morning. Just out biking by my house in the park. And uh, enjoying the beautiful day. I went and saw my surgeon today. Which he said I'm 100% healed. Which is really good. Back to normal life. It's been uh, three months since I've had surgery and I haven't had any issues. Which is a good sign. But while I'm at this place, I was just checking this out. All those round stones right there are river rock from a long time ago. Probably might be some gold in there, but it's kind of looking a little unsafe now. I like this little park. It's a lot nicer when things start turning green. It's still springtime, but you get like nice little stream that goes by and little trails that go off wherever. But I'm going to finish my ride, so I'm going to see you guys in a little bit. Alright, back in the garage and after my 15 kilometer bike ride I did, getting prepared for the weekend. It's supposed to be nice out, like 20 some degrees on Sunday. The effort is to make it down to the ice caves. So before I kill this video, let's have a look at this JB Well. It did actually cure pretty good. I had to bring it inside where it was warm. Because it was still soft yesterday, but it really hardened up now. Focus, focus. But now I gotta put the mechanical seal in it, reassemble the pump, take it outside. I think I'm gonna fill my recycle bin full of water, hook up the hose, see if there's any leaks, see if this thing pumps. 
that'll be in another video, but it's motherfucking beer time now. So I've been running my Sony A6000 with this LA2 adapter, which I could use A-mount lenses, but I've never tried it with an E-mount lens. Because that way I could set the aperture in video mode. Alright, it's motherfucking beer time. We got some cutthroat ale for flavor West Coast. I did a video on this a long time ago. I think I remembered I didn't really like it. Yeah, that's right, I didn't like it. Uh, Matt dropped off a bunch of beers when he came by and picked up that motor I got running for him. Oh, man. This tastes like you're drinking something coming out of a goat's ass. Uh, fucking gross. But anyways, in the next video, when I assemble the pump, you're going to see whether or not it's going to pump or not. I already know the answer, but I want to know your guys' opinion. Because there's been some naysayers saying that if the compression is low, which we already figured out that problem. But indeed, if the compression was low, it wouldn't be able to pump water. So I want to know what your guys' response is. And also, I'm trying this lens. I think it's going to be a hell of a lot better. Because the other lens works good, the adapter for the A mount works great for taking pictures. However, like I said in video, you can't adjust the aperture. So it makes a big difference when it comes to filming. But anyways, it's motherfucking beer time. I'm gonna get going. If you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. Otherwise, I wanna thank you for watching.